How y'all doing? Uh, happy Thursday, my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel. If you know me, thank you so much for coming back to see, girl. I appreciate you. <laughs> if you do not recognize this face, however, however, my bad. <laughs> my name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Mm -hmm. Where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now, let's get on into it, y'all. No dilly dallying. Me done. <sighs> So let me tell you something. When God has a sense of humor, I'm talking about like knee slapper type. <laughs> Today, tonight, I, well, while finishing work, um, I was watching slash listening to Transformation Church's Night of Prayer. They're doing 21 days of fasting. Shout out to Pastor Michael Todd and his church. What's up? If you ever see this. <laughs> and so I'm listening to it, right? Boom. The topic was um, humility and obedience. I said, oh, okay, this is good. Mm, listening to a lot of, wow, praying in my, inside my, wow. Then I take the last, my last 15 minute break. I go to my car and I sit there and I'm like, so Jesus, what's up? Like, what part am I going to have to humble? What am I going to have to do? Like, give me some instructions. Cause I'm, I'm scratching my head thinking like, wow, yesterday's message, I understand peace. You said that to me three times during the day. Humility. I was like, humility, what are you talking about? And I thought of something earlier that I was thinking in the day and I was like, mm, yeah, you're right. I got to be humble about that. Let me, let me not, let me see it differently. When I tell you I got a real example, I mean, like I asked and I was like, hmm, God, we've been doing all this work. It's been, you know, all this heart work, all this head work, all this spirit work. Ooh, what we, what am I going to need to be humbled by? Like, or not humbled by, but in what areas do I need to humble myself? I got out the car. The prayer was ending. I go back into my job. I go sit down. Pastor Mike is praying out. I'm like, mm. As he's praying out, I go back to my emails and I open my emails and I read something. And I'm reading the emails like, ma'am, you got me messed up. Who are you talking to? Do the email. She sends me two emails and I'm like, mm, okay. He finishes the prayer and I look to my left and my coworker and I say, can you pull up such and such email and see if you find this because I need to screenshot something so I could... I'm trying to, I go through this whole thing of explaining to her why I need a certain email so I can screenshot and send it to this lady in this email. And she trying to find it. She can't find it. And I was like, oh, that's okay. I'm going to just email such and such. I'm going to call her and have her send me a screenshot of the email so I can send it to this lady. She was like, oh, no, no, you have to do that. All you have to do, just tell her like, you know, um, this is the way it happens. Sorry if you didn't get it. You know, this is how it happens. I'm sorry if you weren't receiving something, but la, 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 la. She said, you don't got a screenshot. You don't have to prove to her that you're right. I said, I said, wow, wow. I was ready. I, I just laced up and, and pulled up my petty pants. Huh? I put my petty pants on and I was about to do all this screenshot and just, she had emailed me something and said, see the screenshot below where X, Y, Z. I was getting ready to shoot her one back. Like, can you see this screen? Okay. And I said, wow. Telling my coworker, I said, I just finished listening to a prayer about humility and obedience. And I get, and I ask God on my break, where do I need to be humbled? And then I get back from my break and I have the opportunity to humble myself and, um, not react the way I want to, huh? Pastor Michael Todd, thank you. But mm -hmm. he said, some things you're going to have to give up to stay humble. You're going to have to give up offense and being right. Those are the two things I experienced in that very moment. I was offended at why she come in at me sideways when, ma'am, I'm not doing it. It's the system. And the fact that I knew I was right in what happened with her second email. And I'm like, ah! huh? Lace up my petty, my petty pants and my petty boots. We're on the ground ready to shoot her an email with a screenshot. And my beautiful coworker who sat next to me said, oh, no, y'all, you just say this right here. And then I'm like, girl, every time I get ready to say this, I get to type in and then I get upset. She said, oh, you know what? Did she already get what she need? I said, yeah. Oh, then just, just let it rock. Just answer tomorrow. So that way you... I'm like, Jesus, huh? Okay. Let's get to the scripture because let me tell you what the scripture was that Pastor Mike read. And, okay. I'm hyped because as you see that God is a living God. <laughs> I asked the question, where do I need it? And he gave me the perfect opportunity, no less than 
45 seconds later. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Let me, because it was verse 5 to 8. Verse 5 was the one I thought that snatched, snatched me by the collar. No. It was starting from verse 1 that grabbed me by the ear and drug me down the hallway. Okay. Verse 1. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? compassionate, then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another and working together with one mind and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble. Thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out for only your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Verse five, you must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Okay. Skip down real quick because I feel like I have to read this one. At the end of verse 7 into 8, when he, Jesus, appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on the cross. In other words, Jesus was human on earth, but he was also God. If he wanted to, he had the ability to, like Pastor Mike said, be Hercules. He could have been the, he could have walked around like I was finna cuss. He was finna walk around like, yeah, I'm not one. I'm not dude. What's up? I'm human, but I could really do whatever I want right here. But he didn't. He was in obedience to his father, right? And as the person who's following Christ, I have to be in obedience to God. I love him, my man 50 grand. But at the same time, humans be acting wow sometime. Including myself, clearly, as I'm hyped up. Um, so in other words, <laughs> I had to give up my offense that I had from this lady's email and the want or need to be right. Cause the purpose of me wanting to send those screenshots was to prove to her that I was right. And my wonderful coworker next to me, shout out to you girl. So you don't have to prove to her that you're right. You don't have to do that. You just, in other words, just show her love. You know how to fight. It ain't an eye for an eye, two for a tooth, as the Bible says. Show her love. That's it. Go on about your business. See, nadie te ha dicho hoy. Esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. Nobody's told you today. I want to tell you that I love you. And I love me, too. I'm going to get it right. As y'all can see, Jesus be working on me. Um, Because, listen, life be lifing out here. But get what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side. Bye.